Hallo, hallo, Mike Test. So yeah, you can see all these endpoints can be covered using the same URL only. So you just need to paste it here. The main focus here is to explore this API and this is how we can use all these different types of uh, endpoints using the same code itself. Hello financial programmers, I'm Rithvik Dashora and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. This is the second video of our playlist on Finazon API. In the first video, we explored uh, the documentation of Finazon. We saw how to make an account, how to get the API key and some other basic information as well. In, the, in this video, we will be using the endpoints uh, that they have mentioned in the documentation and we'll extract the data on Google Colab. I'm using Google Colab for writing our python code in this video you can use some other platforms as well like jupyter lab or vs code for example in the next video i will be making a trading bot using the data that we'll be extracting uh, using this api um, and in this video i will actually give a brief on how we'll be doing in the third video so yes make sure you watch this video till the end but yes before that guys if you are new to my youtube channel on this channel i turn all my viewers to successful financial programmers here i upload videos related to trading bots implementation of ai in finance using some highly valuable finance apis like this one uh, and also making some pine script trading strategies etc etc so if this is something that you are interested in then you should click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because there are many more playlists that are coming on my youtube channel and you clicking on subscribe button will give me motivation to keep on uploading this free educational content on my youtube channel perfect so um just give you an idea uh, of uh, from the last video we checked on how to use the this particular api we'll be extracting the information from the url that we'll be making right here we'll be pasting our api key right and we'll be also exploring some of these endpoints let's come to our code here i will uh, start from the second cell because here i'll be pasting my api key. api key is equal to and then you just paste your api key here and then run this particular cell and i'll do the same thing i don't want to expose my api key to uh, general public so that's why uh, i'm just telling you this thing. so i'll just paste my api key inside this and run it and then i'll delete it back perfect guys i have stored my api key in this particular uh, variable by running this cell now let's come to the next one which is cell number two now i will import all important libraries the first one is requests and i think that's it let's stick to the uh, this library only if we require any other things like i'm we might need pandas library as well but let's stick to requests as of now right i will come back to our uh, documentation this is the base url right which includes the api key in this case so i'll just write url actually let's write base url is equal to in uh, single inverted or double inverted comma um, this is the url i will provide an f string here and inside this i will give the api key inside it right let's come here let's check it for time series let's check it for the time series right so i will actually click here this is the time series data and you can see the parameters that we need to provide are uh, publisher ticker interval uh, and so on right so i'll just uh, uh, make this particular url extend it i am not gonna use query string or headers here and i'll directly make the url perfect so let's provide different uh, inputs the first one is ticker writing say apple aapl ticker uh, here suppose interval is one minute the endpoint is time series if you remember uh, we clicked on time series publisher is sip it can be finazon or any other publisher as well and let's say the order is descending perfect now our final url would be i'll click here url is equal to uh, let's uh, provide everything in the uh, f string only the first thing is base url so inside the curly brackets brackets uh, we'll, I'll write base URL and then if we go back here, you'll see it's slash and then time series, which is the endpoint here, right? So I'll write slash and then the endpoint, which is this one. Now I need to provide some headers and uh, query strings, but I will actually provide everything here. So to do this, I will use question mark here and this is how we can provide query strings and headers data as well right after that i will provide all this information so the first thing is say ticker is equal to inside the uh, curly brackets is ticker and interval is equal to inside the curly brackets it's interval and publisher is equal to inside the curly bracket brackets sip and the last thing is and order is equal to curly brackets order we can actually take out api key from here i'll just cut it and 
paste it here. Let's keep our API key in the end. Now let's try to see if it is working. So I'll just write data is equal to requests. I'll just provide some spaces here and zoom it a bit. Yeah, that's good now. So requests dot get and then inside this I'll write URL dot JSON and let's see what is the data. Perfect. SIP is not defined. I think ah, okay, this should be publisher. Let's run it again and you'll see all the data uh, in the dictionary format, which is basically the time series data in front of you. We can actually use uh, pandas library here. We can import pandas uh, as PD and then convert this into the data frame that I think you guys already know. So let's skip it. I don't want to make this video long. So I'm more interested to extract the data here and then we can anyways do data cleaning. I've made multiple videos in the past so you guys can refer my past videos as well, which I think you guys will definitely do after subscribing to my YouTube channel. Perfect. That's the f that's one thing. Let's do it for other endpoints as well. So I'll keep on writing here on the right hand side with a comment. So this is something that we can use. The second is, so for new users, if we write hash, everything after this particular uh, thing would not be considered in the code. So you can just write anything and it will not consider it. It's basically this is how we comment uh, in the code. So uh, we have, we can use time series as the endpoint here. On the right hand side here, you can see other things as well. For example, let's use trades here, right? So it's slash trades. So I'll just come back here. Let's just write trades. Let's see if it works. I run it and yes, definitely it works. And this is how we get the trades information. There's a lot of data here. I think, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's actually a lot of data. There's a long scroll, scroll bar here that needs to be used here to come to the top. Yeah, you can see the data is the key of this one. So we can actually, again, use pandas data frame functionality to make it in the tabular format. But the main idea here is we got the timestamp and we got the price of the ticker, which is Apple in this case. You can change it to say MSFT for Microsoft and so on. So I'll write this one as well here. This also we can use. Now here, let's uh, explore the SIP thing. What is it? So slash market center. So I'll just write market center. Let's see if it works. Let's run this code and you'll see it's an error. So I think I made some mistake. I think it should be SIP slash market center. So let's do it SIP and then slash market center. Let's see if it works now. Perfect. It works. So it actually gives all the information of different exchanges, NASDAQ stock exchange, New, Sto uh, New York stock exchange and so on. And what are the codes that are used internally at Finazon? You might refer to some specific exchange uh, and extract the data from that exchange only. So for that, you can use the market center. I will paste it here as well and so on. I'll keep on exploring this. So I'll just pause this video for a second. Let's see for uh, like if this, if our code works for all the endpoints, then we don't need to write anything else or else I'll tell you uh, what are different changes that we need to do. Just uh, before that, guys, I have a very important information to share. Recently, I launched a course on uh, Python for financial programming. So if you are trying to learn Python for finance from scratch, then this is something that you might be interested in just go to my website which is fpritvik.com slash python over here you will see two buttons indian candidates non-indian candidates so you can click as per your uh, location it will redirect you to this the main website where the entire course information is available you'll see that uh, there are five sessions 10 chapters 22 videos 10 quizzes and three assignments with two live projects and uh, uh, this is the entire syllabus of this course for all the people who are interested to learn python from scratch and who are struggling learning python on their own i highly recommend it because uh, it's very very affordable and i have covered a lot of things from a very very simplistic eyesight and in the end in session four and five you'll see stock analysis and investment portfolio creation projects which are my personal projects we did it using some financial analysis if you use RTK40 code, uh, you'll get an instant 40% discount, which is only available for the first 100 candidates. So yes, guys, I'll see you in the course. Let's come back to our code. Perfect. So yeah, you can see all these endpoints can be covered using the same URL only. So you just need to paste it here. Uh, if you guys have followed my previous videos, I have used Streamlit uh, multiple times in the past. In fact, I made an entire playlist on that. You can use Streamlit to make a front-end uh, web application and then you provide all these things in a drop down in the web application. So it looks much better over there. Uh, here, the, you, you just see data like this one. Anyways, but the main focus here is to explore this API. And this is how we can use all these different types of endpoints using the same code itself. I have stopped testing it for other endpoints. You can keep on exploring different things here. The tickers that we can use, we can use 
it's normal stock ticker we can use currency which is aud cad and so on just make sure that you please a uh, forward slash here between the two currency codes for a uh, bitcoin or any cryptocurrencies it's btc slash forward slash usdt uh, if it's ethereum is it's eth slash usdt and so on so it's very fairly simple now just one thing which didn't work for this url was sec archive which is basically this one right so it gives information about the sec uh, filings of different companies so for that actually it doesn't require all these types of uh, inputs or parameters inside it it just requires the the base url the endpoint which is which is this one as sec archive and then the api key so for example if i just copy and paste this one here rather than pasting the main url you'll see uh, okay i will have to provide this one as well here so sec archive i will paste it here and then let's see what is the final output so you can see for different companies uh, you'll find the uh, the link of sec so for example if i click on this one uh, it will redirect me to the sec uh, website and you'll see the entire filings of this particular company which is this particular domi dominari holdings and corporations so anyways so yes guys this is how we can uh, use this uh, api i don't want to make this video complicated so let's stop here in the next video i will be using the similar functionality of uh, the of this api i'll be extracting the time series data and then uh, we'll be making a for loop spoiler alert i'll be using time series data to extract the real time uh, prices one minute real time prices of any particular stock and then i will be making a paper trading simulator on that we will see how our um, strategy uh, how our bot is working and i'll just make a random uh, trading strategy but you can definitely replace it with uh, your uh, personal strategy as well so yes stay tuned for that video as well if you guys uh, want this particular code directly then guys i, I will save this code in my google drive and uh, um, my already existing community members know that I keep my Google Drive very, very updated. You guys can become my Google Drive community member and extract all this information. To do that, just search Financial Programming with Ritwik on YouTube. Click on my channel. Over here, just click on this particular link, which is Google Drive Access. If you click on this one, uh, you'll see this particular post and just follow all these steps to become my Google Drive community member. You'll see the cost of the, my community is very, very affordable. It costs less than a coffee price and this is how you will be supporting me as well the drive is only available for first 200 members so please make your decision quickly if you want me to in, uh, involve in your personal projects then guys i'm very happy to tell you that i have a team of 11 experienced professionals now and i do consider projects uh, on a freelancing basis just reach out to me on this particular email address and i'll uh, reply as soon as possible and lastly, if you liked even one thing, guys, just click on the like button down below. It's just one click for you, which is free for you, but it matters a lot to me because it really helps with the algorithm and it gives us the push to keep on going and uploading this free content. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. You can click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Over there, you'll see this entire playlist of Finazon. There's a second video. Uh, the third video is coming next Saturday. Over there, you'll see my MT5 trading bot. So yes, keep learning, keep financial programming. I'll see you next Saturday. Until then, peace.